Hey guys, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Can you see that behind me? Ikea! So I'm excited. You guys remember that um, little island buffet that I bought for the kitchen last December? Yeah. I hate it. The one that I bought that I hated ever since it arrived. Uh, I finally got rid of it, you guys. I sold it on KGG and now I'm looking for a replacement for that. So I'm here at Ikea. I saw one online, but I want to see it in person first to make sure it's a good fit. No combo number three? Oh, no. Okay. I thought you wanted a hot dog. I'm gonna get a hot dog. Sure. I'm good right now. It's just like, yeah. Look, they, they um, sealed the toilet, so you can't open anymore. I wonder why they did that. How nasty are people where they probably come into Ikea and take a shit? They do a good job, eh, with Ikea. They, they make you think that this could be your house if you just spend 59, 10, 249, 249. It looks cool. Like, this would be a cool apartment for, like, a student. Or even for anybody. You got small space, kitchen, living room, bedroom, washing, whatever that is. We've been in the same section for, let's just say, a good part of You guys, of an I hour. just don't want to get this wrong again. You know what I'm saying? So, we're sort of going to go with, I think, something like this type, this of, unit. type of unit without all the drawers in it so we can fit all the liquor in there, right? Because that's yeah. imperative. And it'll sit right under the eat letters, just like I envisioned. But I'm just trying to decide on a door. I think I'm leaning towards frosted glass, but I'm not sure. It's right here. This is yeah. Oh, it's not even. Doesn't it's not even transparent. Oh, it is transparent. Yeah. So this is the frosted glass one. This on there. Yeah. We are finally on our way out. I finally made a decision, guys. And it's I'm very confident with my decision. Seventeen hours later. <sighs> Finally did it. Yeah, I mean, I decided on the cabinet Go that team. I wanted. You did a good job. Ching. A long time ago, but it was just about the color coordination because technically it's not a kitchen unit, but I don't want it to look like I just put a TV stand in the kitchen. So, anyways, you guys will see. But it is a TV stand. It's technically a media <laughs> unit. Okay, so. I guess yeah, you could say that dishes and food and wine can be media. Of yeah, some sort. that's my kind of media. <laughs> but. Whatever. I think it'll look amazing. Whatever. I think it's going to look much better than what was there. If you're not familiar with Ikea, what you do is you look for all your stuff first while you're in Ikea, and then you write it down on sheets like this, yeah. and then you come back to the back warehouse and actually pick it up for yourself and break your back doing it, and then load it into your car, and then you're so tired when you get home you have to put it together still which really sucks <laughs> i don't understand it's like the it's like a mental physical torture home so i'm really excited to get my cabinet put together i'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow right now the boy is about to make dinner before he goes to the gym we haven't really eaten much today except for that garbage at ikea but i did buy a new plant isn't he cute i haven't named him yet but he will be sitting on top of the cabinet once we put it together so we'll do that tomorrow. Let us pray. Father God, we have faith that you will use this election to show America that you are God. We trust that the God that can move mountains, the God that can part the Red Sea, can also enter the mind and heart of Donald Trump. We pray that you will lead him to serve the American people with pride, with dignity, with fairness, and most importantly, godliness. Or, as an alternative, we pray that Canada might invade the US and that the United States of America will become the 11th Canadian province so that they too can benefit from free health care, a year paid maternity leave, and passive aggressive racism. Not so blatant, just putting it out there. Either way, we pray that your will will be done these things we pray in Jesus' name. And let the American people say, Amen. Yo, Bredge, what did you guys do? 
you for real elected this guy shock face so i'm renting rooms <laughs> marley is okay bunking with you i mean she's not really but she'll get over it so yeah i'm just as shocked as you that it actually happened i knew there was always a possibility but it's official y'all so i just want to encourage you guys to stick together at this time we can get through this um don't mourn but instead go out and celebrate that we still have each other go to a black owned restaurant with your family let's just continue doing what we do best which is uh overcoming and sticking together be nice to one another encourage one another support one another and let's continue to build our black communities because at the end of the day you guys we only got each other and on that note hey guys today is wednesday hump day Look who has joined me. I have a question for you guys. It's the boy. So, if you go somewhere, let's say, to get some, buy a car, buy a house, buy something, whatever. Make a major purchase. Make a major purchase or whatever. And you walk in there, you're driving your, you know, your BMW, you're driving your Mercedes, you got your Ray-Bans on, your fancy outfit, gold chains, all that stuff. <laughs> Do you think you're going to get ripped off? There's a better chance you get ripped off. If something. you look like you have money. If you look like you have money versus if you pull up in your Ford Volvo from 1974 that's multiple pieces, rusted, <laughs> broken down, you know. Um, no, I don't think so. Ratchet wife who, who's, you know, Ooh. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think that any salesperson is just by nature going to try to rip anybody off. <laughs> Right? I, honestly, I think if you go in there and you look like you have money, you're gonna pay like you have money. At any rate, I think the reason why he brought that up is because we're on our way to the dentist. Yeah. And as you know, the dentist can be quite an expensive uh, experience, but if you guys have followed my vlogs for any amount of time, you know that the current dentist I go to is not about the right. Like, I'm not interested in going to that dentist for any anything major anymore. So I have an appointment for a consultation at a new dentist office that I'm very, very excited about and fingers crossed that I qualify for the treatment that I'm hoping to get. Have that filling, yes. Okay. Guess what guys, I'm getting braces. Can you imagine? How long I've been talking about it and finally finally I feel comfortable you guys I found a dentist that I like I qualify for the exact treatment that I wanted which is called six month braces so most times that you go to an orthodontist for a consultation they focus on your entire mouth including your jaw alignment your bite your profile um, so the difference with the rapid braces or six month braces as it's called some places is that they only focus on the teeth that show with your smile. It is liter literally cosmetic braces. So they're just improving the look of your teeth. They're not correcting your bite. You're, they're not correcting your jaw alignment. They're not changing your profile, none of that. And so that's what allows them to move the teeth at such a rapid rate. And I feel like at my age, I'm almost 40, girl. Nine months is a long time. You have got that much time left. <laughs> I am not trying to wear braces for three years, which is the quote that I got everywhere else to correct like my overbite and spacing and all that stuff. So I'm going to go the cosmet adult cosmetic dentistry route and I will definitely take you guys along on the journey. I'm so excited. I go next week for my um, records appointment, which is when I do my x-rays and my uh, impressions. And then the week after that, I get my braces put on like... They're quick too, like they get the ball rolling, not like traditional uh, orthodontists. So I'm happy with my decision and uh, I will definitely keep you guys posted. Good morning guys. Today is fr sa Thursday. It's Thursday. <laughs> the boy and I had a nice date night last night. So we chilled this morning, slept in, just finished breakfast and now we're going shopping. What better way to start the day? Let me show you my super cash outfit of the day. Oh, 
Look at my pants, my joggers, it says killing it. Girl, you be killing it, you be killing it. Cute, right? Look at all the boxes in the background, that's our... Oh, you guys, that's the Ikea furniture we purchased, which we have to put together today. Ooh, look at this lighting. <clears throat> John Legend in the background, it's a romantic moment. Should we kiss in front of the camera? No, we shall not. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. You can't just stop now. This is bad boy for life. <laughs> Alright, this is actually a furniture store. I'm looking for a new love seat for the family room. So I thought I would pop in. Ooh, and they're having a sale. I can sniff a sale out. The boy fell on the ground put chair. <laughs> Are you bugging me? Move on, lady. 